Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Okay, let's talk a little bit about nymphing. Nymphing. Everybody's favorite because nymphing's like the coolest. I've watched a lot of people fish nymphs under a bobber. Bobbers, excuse me, indicator. You can call it an indicator if you want, but let's get real. It's a bobber. One thing that I consistently see is people just fishing the bobber, but they're not paying attention to what's going on past the bobber, what the flies are doing, where the fish are. So let's go on a journey beyond the bobber. A lot of this is gonna seem really basic, but I see it messed up all the time. First of all, you should already know this, but the length from your bobber to the fly has to be at least as deep as the water if you wanna get to the bottom. And if you're not taking the bottom occasionally, you need more weight. Or if you're getting hooked on rocks on every cast, maybe lighten up a little bit. That stuff is super basic. You should already know that. All right, now what I'm talking about really starts with the cast. When you make your cast, you should try to land your leader in line with the current parallel to the water's flow, because that's the way you should be fishing your nymphs. You don't wanna be fishing across different currents because that's what causes drag. So try to land your cast in line with the current, at least from the bobber to your flies. Sometimes you can't do that because of the situation. So make the best cast you can and then mend your leader parallel with the current. So once you've got everything in line with the current, then all you have to do is mend to keep your drift going. Another thing you should do on your cast is watch for the splashes of your split shot and your flies hitting the water. Water. Your leader should be fully extended. If those little splashes are this far from the bobber, you got a problem. It's either a bad cast or you're tangled up. I understand that not everyone has perfect vision and it's difficult to see that sometimes, but fly fishing is a pretty visual activity, but I didn't feel the bite. So you should be doing everything you can to improve your vision on the water. If you've made the cast and the mend, but you still can't get everything in line with the current, that's okay. You can keep fishing that cast. Just be aware that those flies in the faster current are gonna be overtaking your bobber. Say your bobber's in the slow water, your flies are in faster water. When they catch up to it, that's about when you need to cast again. Once those flies get downstream from your bobber, it's game over. Having your fly downstream from your bobber is the worst place to be. See, think about this. If your fly is downstream from your bobber, when a fish eats it, that bobber's gotta go past the fish and all the way down here for you to see the strike. That ain't gonna work. By then, the fish has already spit the fly out. Oh, he spit it out. Flies have to be upstream of the bobber all the time. Maybe a little sideways, not downstream. That is the worst place to be. All right, that's all for today. Hopefully that got you thinking about what's going on out there beyond the bobber. If you wanna hear more about this topic, check out the podcast I did with Tom Rosenbauer from Orvis. I'll leave a link down below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Stay huge.